Imagine this. Buzzy was blind. <sighs> he'd need someone to feed him, warn him before he walks into walls. And he definitely wouldn't be a part of this channel. Wait, so you'd just replace me? Of course. <laughs> Maybe with someone named James. Smart, serious, no dumb questions. Or maybe Cam. Handsome, charming, and actually cute. But no one's got my charm. The channel can't survive without me, even if I were blind. Lucky for you, Australia is actually building bionic eyes. What, like Bluetooth eyeballs? Hmm, kind of. Let's talk in this episode about what a bionic eye really is and how blind people might soon be able to see again. Join the crew, you can't go wrong. Okay, here's the real story. There's a scientific program in Australia called Bionic Vision Australia, led by universities like Melbourne and Monash, together with the Bionics Institute and the Centre for Eye Research Australia. Their goal? to restore some vision for people who became blind from diseases like retinitis pigmentosa, a condition that destroys the light-sensing cells in the retina. So no, it's not VR goggles. It's a retinal prosthesis system. A small camera on glasses captures images. A processor converts them into electrical signals, and those signals are sent wirelessly to a microchip implanted behind the retina. That chip stimulates the remaining retinal cells, and the brain interprets the pattern as flashes of light, giving people a form of artificial sight. The science. Think of it as jump-starting your eyes. Instead of replacing the entire eye, it works with what's left, the optic nerve and brain. The results so far. Patients don't see in color or HD yet. They see glowing dots and shapes that help them move safely and recognize large objects. It's like turning total darkness into a glowing, pixelated world. Basic, but life-changing. The device generations. <clears throat> the current 44-electrode suprachoroidal implant has already been tested successfully in Melbourne. The new version, Phoenix 99, aims for around 99 electrodes with better resolution and wireless communication. It's still in development and preparing for human trials. Why it's impressive. Each electrode acts like one pixel of artificial vision. The more electrodes, the clearer the image, but that also makes the surgery and calibration much more complex. Patients go through visual training sessions because the brain must learn to interpret this new electric language of light. The human side. For someone who's seen nothing for years, even identifying light or movement is monumental. One participant described it as, seeing stars appear inside my eyes. Funding and collaboration. Supported by the Australian government, universities, and donors. This program is one of the leading bionic eye projects in the world. Here's the cool part. The brain doesn't just see, it learns to see. When patients get the implant, they attend vision training sessions where they relearn how to interpret patterns of light. At first, it's just flickers. That's a wall. That's a chair. That's your cat not a demon. Over time, the brain gets better at translating these flashes into real-world awareness. Researchers are now exploring AI-assisted processors that could identify shapes or objects automatically. Imagine your glasses quietly whispering, that's the door, genius. Wireless recharging and data links are being tested, but those are still in concept stages. The future goal? Expand the electrode count and move from light perception toward reading signs or recognizing faces. This project doesn't just repair eyes. It redefines what seeing means. If your brain can learn to decode electrical patterns as sight, then vision is basically software, running on wetware. And while other countries talk about innovation, 
Australia's literally teaching the blind to see, pixel by pixel. So next time someone says seeing is believing, tell them, not anymore. Now it's uploading. X uploading. Well, this one's different. It actually feels important. I guess we should thank everyone working on this miracle. Scientists, engineers, even students, volunteers, and anyone lending a hand, professional or not. Absolutely. This is just the beginning. And one day, it could give sight to thousands. So thank you to every person, from labs to classrooms, who's helping make this miracle real. Seriously, thank you from the heart. Wow, that was deep. <laughs> All right, guys, before I start crying pixels, hit that subscribe button. It's literally the only button that improves your vision.